Hey everybody, and welcome back to Pinch House Garage with another unboxing. And on today's episode, we got two boxes. I know what this is, I don't know what this is. So, let's find out, because this is Pinch House Garage. As always here, we're going to do a quick segue straight to our sponsor, Eurotuning.com. Thank you guys for sponsoring this build. Oh, what's going on, Pinchy Al? What are you doing today, man? Hey, what's going on, Al? Yeah, I'm just uh, working on the VR6 uh, turbo right here that I'm building for our Patreon members. And doggone it, I'm looking for some parts. And I just can't seem to find them online. I just don't know where to go. Well, it looks like to me, you need to go to Eurotuning.com to get the parts that you're looking for. What? Eurotuning.com's got all the parts that I need for my VR6? Oh man, I appreciate that, Al. I'm gonna get on over to my computer and order something from Eurotuning.com. Be right back, buddy. <laughs> Delivery, UBS. Wow, my package arrived! That was super fast! Thank you, Eurotuning.com! Alright, so now we got that out of the way, let's open up the small box. We always open up the small ones first just because they're light, they're mysterious, and we want to know what it is. The big one is very obvious, it's from Tectonics Tuning, and it's one of my favorite companies for stuff. Ah, holy crap guys, you literally just threw a box with, you literally just threw a box in here with no padding. You know, this is only $260. This is the fuel pump from uh, DW from Desh, uh, Deshworks. One of my favorite fuel pumps, um, especially from this company. Uh, I always buy fuel pumps from these guys. Good, good stuff. Um, here, come on. Open the jewelry. Oh, right here. We go up. Now this is the DW model. Of this one. Uh, the DW 65V. Uh, pretty much does 265 liters per hour. That's what LPH stands for at 40 psi. This is more than enough fuel for our VRT uh, to go up to four to five hundred wheel horsepower with no issues. Um, I love, again, I use these fuel pumps in all my cars and all my Mark IV builds. Um, it's just because they work. They're very, very good fuel pumps and they just work and they work hard for you. So just like a standard Mark IV, they have the standard pretty much positive negative and the standard feed uh, tube right here. And then on the bottom, again, very factory Mark IV like, all this factory stuff that pretty much that a Mark IV has is right there in your fuel pump. So this is a drop-in pump. No modifications required for your gas tank at all. This just drops in, clean out, swap out your fuel lines, and you're done. Instant fuel pretty much upgrade on your car. Now, here we go. It comes with all the clamps you need because since you're gonna be replacing not one, but two of these lines, one of them is this nylon style and then the other one's a little different, very similar, but a little different, but you're not gonna need to remove the other one. You just gotta unplug it from one side and then reclamp it. Um, they give you all the O-rings from the top and the bottom. So remember that. And they give you this grease right here. Very, very needed, okay? This grease, if you don't use it correctly, the fuel pump won't actually slide into place and won't pop in. And one thing that uh, pretty much I've noticed with a lot of people who do these pumps, they they smash the pretty much the sending unit because they're just cramming it, cramming it. There's a there's a there's a finesse to them, guys. You got to be very careful when you install your fuel pump because if you don't do it right, what's going to happen? There's going to be like a leak on top or a leak on bottom. 
And so when you turn your car on, you're never gonna get that full pressure when it primes. It, it builds pressure, but just not enough. And then you're gonna have uh, starting issues. Once the car gets going, it'll work, but you're not solving your problem by having it poor, pro improperly installed. So follow the instructions. We'll give you guys a full DIY and a full disassembly and reinstall of this uh, fuel pump in our uh, VR6. But please keep note of that. Um, everything we have here, pretty much, we're gonna make a DIY for it. Every time a part comes in and it's something that we need to put in, we're gonna make a full DIY for it. That way, if you guys are following this build and you wanna pretty much replicate what we've done, you guys know exactly how to do it. Now for El Boxo Grande O. Now, there's a couple ways I can attack this. Uh, more likely, I'm probably gonna wanna open it I want to open it long ways and cut the box open um, because I don't want to yank it out. I just want to slide it out. Cut it open from over there. This item, you guys should know what this is already by now, is a full on exhaust, three inch exhaust, four hour Mark IV Jetta. We went full three inch, and obviously you can tell it's not stainless steel, it's aluminized, perfect for this build. You gotta keep in mind, we gotta, we gotta save some money somewhere. <laughs> and not go balls to the walls like super expensive. Um, but these are not crush bent, okay? These are mandrel bent. This is a mandrel bent exhaust, all right? So typically or traditionally when they're crush bent, they're smaller on here and they get bigger on the sides. Um, this is definitely mandrel bent. Um, couple corners. I mean, again, it's aluminized, so it's not as pretty, but it's a full three-inch exhaust. And it comes with a, I don't know what it comes with. Let's see here. So straight, obviously this is going to be the one that goes towards the back by the uh, axle. I don't know why they wrap this in paper. I'm gonna wrap everything else. Nice, straight. And then they also provide you a Magnaflow muffler. So I'm gonna put these over here.
that's already been pre pre welded and everything for you. So this is a straight through Magnaflow stainless steel uh, muffler, and it's already been pre pre cut. So it's designed to be slipped on and put in a have a clamp installed on top of it so you can use it. Um, see what we're doing here. We gave you the uh, sticker. And here's what I'm talking about: the clamps. All the clamps that you need to clamp this, this sucker down. All the way down. <laughs> so the way that this exhaust works pretty much is that you got uh, a slip on to the front and to the back. Uh, the front one is probably going to be this short guy right here. It's going to go in through here. Um, this guy is going to be the uh, axle uh, part portion, and then this guy is going to be the straightaway down the main channel, by, pretty much down the middle of the car. And then we got a downpipe that we have to custom make to mate to this exhaust. So all this is about under 500 bucks uh, plus shipping. It's again probably one of the best bangs for your buck exhaust systems you get, and they sound phenomenal. These are one of my favorite sounding uh, mufflers um, and brands. I love Magnaflow. They have a very, very deep growl to them. Uh, the only thing is that this is, this is not a naturally aspirated engine. This is a turbocharged engine. I don't know what this is going to sound like. They sound very different when they're turbo. So I'm very, very excited for this car. Um, we're not going to assemble it just because we still need a car to assemble it and put it in. Uh, but when we before we put it in the Jetta, we're gonna um, lay it out on the ground so you guys can see it, and then we'll take it apart and put it back in the car. Uh, we want to get the car pretty much as ready as possible to get towed to an exhaust shop and have a downpipe made to finalize the exhaust. We're gonna make sure everything works on the car until we, and then once it's all working, then we'll have the exhaust finished, and then we will reveal the car at the end. We don't want to reveal the car to anybody else but Patreon members. YouTube, uh, everybody else on YouTube will get to see the car about a week to two weeks after all the Patreon members get to enjoy this. Uh, first start, first drive, first everything. You guys are going to get it all through Patreon. So, right now, make sure you smash that subscribe button and like. And don't forget to go to Patreon.com and become a member. Because once this car is done, you guys get to get a chance to uh, win this car from me. Alright? Peace out everyone, and you guys have yourself a wonderful day.